Title and thumbnail should hint at it. This one statement can cover the entire video. If you farm, you can save a shit ton of your meseta. That's it. You might be able to catch on with this. You might have already been doing this. Or you might have been able to capitalize on this and get a huge profit off it. But yeah, if you want any grand tip for, for PSO2. If you play on global or the Japanese PSO2, even in most likely NGS, farm. You need to have that sort of mentality, especially if you play an MMORPG game. Because here's the thing, this is an MMORPG game. Like, if, if we had to talk about pain and how grind heavy this game was, I, I could easily point to Japanese episode 1 through 3. During that time period, you had to farm for a lot of shit. And it's, it's atrocious. And, um, I don't know, I, I must have been a masochist or some shit because I, I sticked around and I farmed through those eras. When episode 4 to 5 came around and then into episode 6, everything became fucking easy. Like, you guys over there in Global, you, you literally, you guys are getting spoiled. But at the same time, some of us vets from the Japanese PS2, we understand, like, the grind session. We had to go through fucking hell. Especially when it comes to getting out Austere Weapon. I will have a history lesson video about the Austere Weapon and why I'm actually a bit pissed off with how they revived it for a 15 star and how it was a bit lackluster. But, um, yeah. You farmed. A shit ton. And guess what? I, I played MMORPG games. I am familiar with the farming concept. But the fact that I had to farm a lot in PSO2, that... I plowed through. Like, I did have bitchy moments. I did complain, but guess what? That play it paid off in the end, especially when I'm, when I do a lot in the augmenting and fixing. There will be a separate video emphasizing on augments and fixing and how farming goes hand in hand with that. But this video overall is just to emphasize on that. Just farm, farm for those abilities, farm for those SSAs, farm for those SAS, farm for those weapons and units, farm for those goddamn materials you need for desynthesizing. Farm, 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 farm. And you might, might not be a big fan of it, but hey, look, like, once again, this is an MMORPG game. You need to get into that sort of mindset. If you're not, then I don't know how to help you. Like, this is your choice. You need to figure out your certain path. I'm only giving you guys my harsh, blunt opinions, some statements, but still, it's up to you to make what it is. It is up to you to figure out your better plan and how to go about it. But yes, you want to farm. Like, I can go a lot of stories, a lot of points, snippets, and things, but you want to farm. Just because it will save you a lot of meseta. You don't need to spend like 100 fucking millions of meseta on something technical when it might not even carry over to NGS. Yes, that is a factor you need to kind of consider because we do not have a lot of the actual factual statements about stuff carrying over yet. They hinted at it, they did say it in the beginning, but it's not 100% confirmed yet because they don't have the full details. So that is a slight possibility. The fact that these things, or most, or maybe not all of the weapons and units from PSO2 can carry over there to PSO2 ES. I mean PSO2 NGS. Shit, I, I confuse ES with NGS. So yes, just farm. Like if you really want a grand advice for this game overall, just farm. Because it will save you the meseta. So you can put it towards fashion. No offense, like, some of you guys might be saying more fashion isn't gonna help me do fucking damage. Fa fashion is not gonna help me survive through fucking PSO2. Yeah, you're right, but at the same time, will that thing carry over? Fashion is gonna carry over to NGS. Like, it, it may not be the, like, updated stuff, like, where you can move your fucking fingers with the costume, but... They might implement that later. They have a lot of room of improvements. There's possibilities for that. They might slowly add a good chunk of the stuff from PSO2, all the costumes and cosmetics and stuff, and integrate it into NGS. There's that possibility. There's an endless amount of possibilities and speculations that I can pull out of my fucking ass. But the thing is, you want to farm. And you don't want to go too heavy into it. Because in any game whatsoever, especially for MMORPGs, metas get a change. You get a change constantly, and you get to dump a shit ton of- Dude, do you really want to dump a lot of your meseta onto this shit when it's gonna change? I personally don't do that. Because, once again, I, I've i seen this in MMORPG games. I've already experienced this, and going through that hell of episode 1 to 3 for the Japanese PS2, it was harsh. Like, there, there was a lot of things that you guys didn't have to fucking deal with, but... Yeah, you want to farm. Like, the reason why I'm good with augments and fixing and why it doesn't hurt me as much. Like, some people think that, like, I, I spent, like, so much meseta on this shit. No. Like, I spent a lot more fucking meseta on all this fashion crap that's on my account. It goes past, like, the amount of stuff that 
I spent for augmenting and fixing. Guess what? With augmenting and fixes by themselves, I saved a good chunk of it because I farmed. If you stared at my storages, there's a shit ton of unit pieces in there. Like the la the the video that I'm gonna release soon, especially with the last Guardian Soul that has like Returner Five, Crack Five, Absolute Glare, and Ether Factor. It didn't cost me as much because I stocked up on a lot of resources. I stocked up on the things that I need to do. It barely cost me as much. I would say it's roughly between like zero, like one mil to maybe 15 mil. And if you don't believe me, I did make the fodder pieces on stream and I did it on a grind zero cost. So the entire point of this once again, farm because you don't want to spend as much on something that's going to change. Fashion, for like the years that I've been playing on PSO2 has been fucking constant and it's still end game and it's still relevant because guess what? You created a certain character. You're designing that character. You're making them how you want how how you want them to be. And like that, that's gonna stay with you. And guess what? That's carrying over to NGS. If they did like make you start over at NGS, I don't think I would be in a very fucking happy mood, but as, like they Sega knows that like people really care about their damn accounts on here and how much they spent and they don't want to lose their loyal customers now so yeah yeah farm fucking farm that is it I'll see you guys in the next video any question comment concerns put it down below peace